Good morning. I look like I am not bright because it still is pretty dark in here. Good morning, how are you? It's time to wake up, come on. If you don't know who I am, hi, hello, my name is Maya and I am your host of Motivation and Muscles with Maya Ting. I've already had two cups of coffee. I've been up since about 6.30 and now I'm about to have some tea, my poopy time tea. I'm gonna have to find my discount code um, so you guys can take advantage of getting a discount off of this beautiful God-given tea. It has been doing wonders for me, especially in the area of energy. So, um, uh-oh. So, yeah, how have you been doing? I tried to have a headache this morning, tried. And it's still something lingering, but it's not bad. I'm thankful for that. I wanted to talk about strength and power, which every one of us possesses. We, even if you don't feel like it, I know you don't. You don't feel like going into work this morning. I get it. I get it. I get it, but I don't get it because I don't have to physically go into an office, but I get it. I have to deal with people. I get it. But you're built for it. I don't care what the situation is. I don't mean to be insensitive, but you're going through what you're going through because you're built, you're built for it. And not only were you built for it, you were chosen for this heartache. You were chosen for this difficult time. You were placed in the position that you're in right now. It's not by happen chance. It's not a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. It is what it is. So you know what we have to do as strong believers, as strong humans, deal with it. Because why? You ain't no punk. What we're not going to do is cower back into our bedrooms, get underneath the cover, put the cover on over our heads, and just cry the day away. We're not going to do that. We're going to deal with the cards that have been dealt with us. And not only are we going to deal with it, but we're going to deal with it in such a way that God's going to look back and say, that's my kid. That's mine. That's my enemy. Continue to put the pressure on that one because he is built for it. She is built for it. And not only that, when she comes through, when he comes through, I'm going to bless her even more. She don't even know it. He don't even know it. One pump of my skinny syrup. You know, there has been times, because let's be real. I've had an interesting upbringing. I didn't have the worst childhood, but like the majority of you guys, I'm sure, believe it could have been better. It could have been better. So Maya, what does that mean? Well, let's keep it a buck. I'm gonna put some ginger cubes in here. I've been molested, I've been raped. I have been misused, I have been mishandled. I have had people walk in and out of my life with no explanation, no clear explanation. I have been abandoned by people but I can never be abandoned by God, never. So I really don't consider my abandonment issues to be abandonment issues. Just like you guys, I have been talked about. I have been uh, abused physically, verbally, spiritually. 
just like you and probably more, right? I'm sure there's more that you have dealt with um, that I have not experienced. I am here to say that whatever your story was, it was a boot camp and it was to grow you into being the individual you are today. Just think, all the stuff that we're dealing with currently, had we had not been prepared through hard times, then we wouldn't be able to deal with the adult stuff that we're dealing with now. And let's be clear, did I ask to be raped? Did I ask to be touched? No. No. Did it mess with me psychologically? Yes. But I have a God who protects me. And I was put in situations for a time such as this. I advocate for people. I advocate for students. And had I not gone through my own traumas and struggles as a child and many, 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 many valley moments, I would not be able to connect with people today. Being able to fight for people. I had to go through. Not having anyone to advocate for me taught me the, that there is a need for people who need to be fought for and listened to and protected and directed to the one that can do the ultimate protecting. My struggles from my childhood has brought about a strength in me I didn't even know I had. More lemon juice. Yeah. So with this new perspective on the traumas of my childhood, I am choosing. I am making a conscious effort to look at my history as something positive and not as something as a negative or from a victim's perspective. I am choosing to believe that God allowed me to go through all of that stuff so I can be the person I am today. Not ashamed. I ain't weak. Just like you should not be ashamed. You are not weak. I am not ashamed of my scars. I am not ashamed of my story. Why? Because God is not done writing my story. As long as you are still alive, your story is continuing. So stand up. And if anyone tries to use your story, your trauma, your wounds against you, This is what I would do. And I know if was a fifth, we all be drunk. That was not really a spiritual joke, but you get what I'm saying. When people try to bring up my past in a way that I know it's meant to hurt me and not to say, this is who Maya, this is who I saw Maya to be, but this is the woman she is now to uplift me, to encourage me. But when they try to use my past against me, which let's be clear, I don't have this. This is not done to me often. But if it did, this is how I would handle it. Mm -hmm. 
they would not get a response. And if I just had to respond, this is how I would respond. Second Corinthians 4, 8 and 9 and says, we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. That is 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. Now you put that in your pipe and smoke it. Let's talk about it. I ain't no punk because I serve a God who ain't no punk. When I get knocked down as often as we will, I'm going to stand back up. When the numbers don't look good in your favor, I'm going to stand back up. When you're being mistreated and you're knocked down by somebody else's insecurities through their words, I'm going to stand back up. I'm going to stand. I'm not going to have moments where I'm just like, God, help me. I am scared. I am hurt. My feelings are hurt. Those times will come. But let me tell you something about my enemies. They will never, ever see me sweat. Never. I've been through too much. I've been through a lot. And it wasn't for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. And you've been through a lot, and it wasn't for nothing. I'm thankful for the crap that I went through. I'm thankful. And I'm choosing to use the crap for my advantage, for my good, instead of just becoming what the crap wanted me to become. Those hard times wanted me to conform into my pain. I'm not doing that. Something good is supposed to come out of pain. So let's meditate on that. You're strong. You are. You may not feel strong, and that's okay. I always like to use the analogy of like the parent and child because the majority of you guys are parents. And if you're not parents, maybe you are a mentor to a young person, or maybe you're an auntie or an uncle. But you oversee somebody, even if it's just a name, a neighbor, right? Our parents, I know for me, it always seemed like my mother had an answer for everything. My mom to me was a God, little G. I remember as a child, I would look to her like, all is well in the world as long as my mommy is here. She had an answer for everything. She had a solution for everything. I know when I was not feeling good, I remember there was a, mm, this little boy named Raymond. Raymond, I don't know, I was in elementary school. I don't know if it was fifth grade, fourth grade. But he said to me, that's why Maya, you got roaches in your house. And I was like, Cut. my cat is sitting here like, what's wrong? Yeah, that's what, that's what Raymond said. Mm -hmm. So when I went home, I was crying. And my mom was just like, what in the heck is going on? What's wrong? Raymond, this boy in my class, said I got roaches in my home. And see, what had happened was as a small child riding that bus home, I remember thinking, oh, but I did see an ant because I didn't have a roach issue where I lived at in New York. Every now and then you see an ant, but never roaches. So I'm, I'm 
processing or trying to process, why would he say I have roaches? I don't, but maybe I do or whatever the case may be. So I went home and my mom was like, but why are you so upset? I th this boy named Raymond said, I got roaches in my house. And she said, but do you? I said, mommy, no, we don't have roaches. She said, so what are you upset for? And I was just like, it, she all she had a net, a, a a niche, not a net, a niche for making issues not so issuey, if that makes any sense. She had a way of making things that appeared so massive to me become very small. That's what God does, but even better. He's like, when people are bothering you, come to me. When people mistreat you, come to me. Even when people are not mistreating you, come to me. Get used to coming to me because guess what? Tomorrow is a whole new day and a whole new ball of crap. Get used to coming to me. Get your strength from me. The same way we have to power up our cell phones when the battery gets low. And if you're anything like me, I don't like for my battery to get lower than 50%. I'm automatically plugging in which is a, one of the reasons why my work cell phone, um, when I take it off of the charger, because I leave it charged all of the time, connected, the minute I take the plug out, it depletes. I can use one, I can take, take I can make one phone call on my work cell phone, one phone call, and it will go from 100% to zero in like 20 minutes because it's so used to being plugged up and given that power all of the time, given that energy all of the time, that it really can't sustain for long periods of time without being connected. We need to always be connected. Why? Because life be life and the world be world and you be having neighbors that be phew, losing their mind. You're going to have a coworker phew, losing their mind. You're going to have spouses and friends and loved ones and the list goes on. People be losing their minds and we need to always be prepared. So we need to always be prepared by staying connected. Staying connected. I just got notification that I'll be getting a Timu order today. I'm just saying, God is good. So. Let's think about how strong you are. And I'm not talking about the type of strength that comes from your ability. I'm talking about the strength that God deposits into you. All right. Let's go.
that's over five minutes. Yeah. So I've cleaned up. Uh, I need to put my chicken in the oven. Uh, my husband had seasoned some chicken maybe two weeks ago. And um, I took the leftovers and I um, froze it. So he, that's what I was going to do. He seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic by Kinder's. This is a good seasoning. Um, I thawed out the chicken this morning and now I am going to top it with this all-purpose cooking seasoning or cookout seasoning. Savory, garlicky, buttery. Oh, yeah. And this, excuse me, is not for me. It's for the boys. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top. That way my little big brother will have something to take with him for lunch and then my husband will have food for dinner. I'll put this on for an hour. Bake and Three eighty five, low and slow. Yeah. Remember your strength. Remember your worth. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I gotta have more of that. Oh, I need to also do my ginger turmeric shot. Look. Let's take our morning ginger shot. We got these off of the cruise. They are so cute. Um, you can buy them with alcohol or without alcohol. And I think we try to get some, this was from our first cruise in 2022. This one is from the one that we just came from last week. We love these and it's perfect for my ginger shots. bad boy off with some lemon juice. I always keep fresh lemon juice out because I'm always putting it in shots, in my tea, in my water sometimes. So let's go. Have a good one. Last bit down. Ugh. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go. You guys will see me back here a little bit later for the exercise challenge and to see what's in my Timu package or delivery. I know I did get some married people stuff. Y'all may not see that. Hello? 
Have a good one.